will be recorded for the purposes of training, maintaining accurate agency records and assessing the provision of services. The recording will be retained and destroyed in accordance with the State Records Act and relevant departmental policies. If you do not wish for this conversation to be recorded, please alert the consultant once connected. Shut the fuck up and take my bloody money. I don't have a claim your number. Claim number is located on your letter. I don't have a fucking DMV letter. I didn't know it was at the debt collector. Guys, as per as per usual, oxy shred. We've got like half a scoop left, so that's 60 servings. And I think I probably bought it about 25 days ago, so that's just over two servings a day. And just before I start ringing people, I got to pay my first body corporate instalment, which is. 910 bucks and that was due fuck <laughs> my first body corporate payment was due on 17th of january and it's the 19th of february so that's great better pay that one when i was driving my car back from south australia back in july i got a speeding fine it's due about october last year and uh, I've now got an additional $268 worth of charges. So that's up to about 800 bucks. And I've got my own registration, which has just gone out. I've just, I've just uh, realized that. And that is gonna be another $415. So before I even start today, I've gotta start acting like a fucking adult and pay like two grand's worth of shit. Well, actually, no, I tell a lie. All my fines are always put on a payment plan. Um, you know, I'd, I'd recommend that to anyone. If you don't, if you don't think you're actually going to get off the fine, um, I'd recommend putting it on a payment plan because there's, that's just dead money. That is just fucked up. I hate paying fines, but we do it to ourselves, don't we? So we make it as good as possible as best case scenario, <laughs> as Rich Piano would say. There's two things that I have to pay, which is Rego and body corporate. And then I'm going to ring up the South Australian fines recovery unit and get that put on a plan and I also have to ring up the NT fines recovery unit and get that shit put on a plan because I've got a couple of fines here too so it's like oh shit so today is the day that I get my shit sorted and uh, let's get on to it so <coughs> hurdle number one I don't have Microsoft Office so Looks like I'm gonna to have to spend some more money. $415, 10 cents, six months registration in the box. All right, body corporate time. Please refer enclosed pamphlet for log on instructions. Right, where's my pamphlet? Pamphlet, pamphlet. The fuck? How to log in. Right. Invoice which is downstairs. Tell you one thing guys, if I can afford it, I'm not gonna go for another unit. I am gonna try and get a freehold house so then I can not pay body corporate fees and also so I, I have free reign over the whole property, you know, a full scope to, uh, to make money on renovations, which is exciting as fuck because there's so many houses around here with shit bathrooms, shit kitchens, shit paint, and shit floors and you know those four things you go and flip a house like that that's just going to completely change the house completely for i don't know 40 grand something like that so i can't wait to flip my first property which is the kind of property that i want to buy first but first <laughs> before i do any of that shit, i need to pay this crap so it doesn't look like paying late is actually going to get me any fees or anything they haven't even asked me for it to be honest so if they're slack well maybe i should be slack but no i shouldn't be so we're paying this now 910 dollars for the first quarter the next quarter should be due 
on the 17th of April for another 910 bucks. So I'll be writing that in my little Excel spreadsheet and by the end of the day, I will have a nice overview of my finances. I Seriously guys, this, this, is a real, this is a real danger of, um, of working too much and you forget what's important. You forget the shit that you really do need to get on top of. Like you just need that balance, you know? And I knew that today, have being a day off, I'd planned it all week. In fact, I'd planned it for most of my last days off in the last like two months, but whenever it comes, I wake up, I wanna go to the gym, I smash that, then I start eating, and then I just cannot be fucked doing it. My most productive time is right when I wake up, it really is. I don't know about you guys, but fuck, that's, that's how it works for me. So I knew this morning I had to get this shit done. So I've actually got to transfer some money to my credit card because as I said it's maxed out and I'm paying all the shit through credit cards so let's do that. So as you can see we've got quite a bit of a list here of all my expenses because um, I've got quite a few in my life at the moment more than I thought so I'd recommend anyone doing this um, just writing everything down doesn't have to be a proper budget. We know how budgets work. We never fucking stick to them. But to at least know how much money is actually coming out of your account each month. I mean, all of this shit is, is automatic payments, or most of it. So definitely need to get that under control. Uh, so I've started now. I can't finish until I'm done. So Northern Territory Fines Department. So what? Sorry, can you, can you repeat that? My, my license has been suspended since 17th of August last year. Yes, that's right. Okay. okay. Uh, the total amount outstanding on your fines as of today is $2,025. $2,000? Yeah, $2,025.10. Wow. I've never spent so much money so quickly in my entire fucking life. But if I didn't sort it out now, it'd just get worse and worse. So my message to all you guys, if you've got bills, if you're procrastinating on things, man, and you've actually got the money there to pay it, fuck, just pay it, just pay it. It's gonna make me so much like less stressed, I hope. But now is actually the time for the one that I've been least looking forward to and the one that I've been procrastinating about the most, which is literally since I left New Zealand. So it's been six years since I actually sorted something out with this shit, which is my student loan for a degree that I never got. So you can imagine why I don't want to pay it. But today is going to be the day that we're actually going to fucking finally set something up. So every time I- Welcome to Inland Revenue. If your call doesn't relate to a student loan debt, please press one now. If you're calling in response to a contact from our assist team, please press 2. For all other student loan inquiries, please hold. Okay. Alternatively, so I literally, every time I leave New Zealand now, in the last like two years, I've thought, fuck, maybe they'll stop me, you know? Such a stressful fucking thing. And it just sucks, because I never got my degree. So, I mean, it's not a huge loan, but it's still a student loan. And it's gaining interest every fucking six months. And maybe I won't be able to buy a second house, honestly. Really gotta sort my shit out before I go and buy a second property, I think. But I'm not giving up. Wow. What what a nightmare. What a nightmare. No wonder. No wonder I was putting it off for so fucking long. But everything's sorted. Student loans sorted. I know exactly how much I'm paying on my home loan, my personal loan, my gym memberships, I've got my two fines arrangements in place, I know when my next rego's due, I know when my next body corporate's due, I know when my next water bill's due, Telstra has a payment plan put on it, and we are fucking sorted, sorted for now. <laughs> I was saying before that there's a difference between good and bad debt. I've got a lot of debt. I've got a lot of debt. Um, but 
I have my car. I have my house. You know, I've got, I've got material things that are needed. I've probably spent a little bit too much money. So one thing I have decided is that that brand new three and a half thousand dollar Mac is going straight for sale. I ain't opening that shit. Don't need it, don't want it. That's three grand sitting right there. And I need three grand right now. So it looks like I'm gonna be using the laptop for all my video editing, which sucks. I'm ho hopefully I can find a program that I can use on this that will allow me to put to layer videos on top of one, other, one another and layer sounds on top of one another because Movie Maker is really fucking me off, man. Anyways, last job for the day before I actually go to the gym and have some fun is to sort out this bloody folder. So probably about a year ago, I went through the same stage of sorting out everything. You know, I finally procrastinated so much. I had that one day off, I fucking slammed it, got everything sorted, and since then I haven't done anything. So that was a year ago. So I've got this this folder here. Um, it's got all my shit in it, all my documents, uh, everything from New Zealand. It's got receipts, insurance, fucking information, banking stuff, uh, and everything else. So I've got quite a few things to add to this folder. And... Um, Hopefully by the end of it, it will all be nice and sorted again. So I don't have to worry about it for a while. But what I do have is this little spreadsheet here. So, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite good on Excel. I like putting things on Excel. I like making spreadsheets so I can then look at it and it's got a huge, it's got a complete overview of everything. I can literally see everything that's happening in my financial life right now, right in front of me. And before this morning, all of that shit was in my head and I was trying to remember it all. You're never ever going to remember it all. So that's why I let things slide. That's why I got into trouble, but we've sorted it out. And so if you're thinking that bills are, you know, getting out of hand. Don't let them get to the debt collector. Okay. Ring them up first, get a payment plan in place. You know, they work with you. They're a business. They want their money. They don't care if they're going to get it drip fed to them. They want their money and they're going to get it. So don't ignore it, sort it out, stop procrastinating. Hopefully I can take some of my own advice and stop procrastinating in the future. As you can see, we've got all my receipts out. So I've not only got that fucking spreadsheet sorted, I've got all my receipts, all my bloody bank details, insurance details, tax details, birth certificate, qualifications. I've got everything, everything out. I'm sorting my life out. I got to sort this shit out. You know, it's, it's too much to be in here. It's got to be down there so I can look at it and think about it. So uh, that's what we're doing now. And I actually just had a call from my bank manager. It was good timing. They called me now and I gave them a few few details about my uh, my expenses and things and on Monday it's Friday today on Monday I'm gonna go in there and um, present everything present my my financial situation and if I can't invest in something if I'm not in a position to invest in something then I will get some concrete numbers and some goals that I can then go away and uh, start working on straight away because I know I know that regardless of all this shit, the next thing I want to do financially is is buy a second property. So that's the goal. And we are sorting my life out. So I'm really going to leave you guys now. The video is titled Sorting My Life Out. I've done a bit of sorting today. It's been about three hours since I started this video. I'm feeling really, really good about it. I'm feeling more content now. And... Once again, I urge you to do the same thing. All it takes is a little bit of time and yeah, you'll get it done and you'll feel better for it. So peace out guys. See you in the next one. It's probably going to be the weigh-in on Sunday. Not sure when you'll be seeing this one, but uh, yeah, I'll be weighing myself Sunday. Another physique update. See how we're going. 10 weeks out. Peace.